Hi, my name is Kayleen Harshbarger and I'm auditioning for a Bachelor of Arts in Theater and Drama at Grand Canyon University. I will be performing two contrasting monologues. I left no ring with her. What means this lady? Fortune forbid my outside have not charmed her. She made good view of me, indeed so much that sure me thought her eyes had lost her tongue, for she did speak in starts, distractedly. She loves me, sure. The cunning of her passion invites me in this churlish messenger. None of my lord's ring. Why, he sent her none. I am the man. If it be so, as tis. Poor lady, she were better love a dream. Disguise, I see thou art a wickedness wherein the pregnant enemy does much. How easy it is for the proper false in women's waxen hearts to set their forms. <laughs> Alas, our frailty is the cause, not we. For such as we are made of, such we be. How will this phage? My master loves her dearly, and I, poor monster, fond as much on him, and she, mistaken, seems to dote on me. What will become of this? As I am man, my state is desperate for my master's love. As I am woman, now alas the day. What thriftless sighs shall poor Olivia breathe? O oh, time, thou must untangle this, not I. It is too hard a knot for me to untie. Say, Aunt Eleanor, I've been reading an awfully interesting book. Oh, I've forgotten the name of it, but it is awfully interesting. It's all about broken engagements and misunderstandings, and they go to the most elegant ball, and he sends for the loveliest flowers out of his own greenhouse, you know. I've forgotten what kind of flowers it is, but it is some particular kind, you know, that means something. It's sort of a queer name. I wish I could think of it, so if anybody ever sent me any, I'd know what it was. It was in England, you know, at a manor house. I wish I could think of it. It wasn't Ilongi Long, you know, but anyway, it's just as good. I've forgotten what it meant anyway, so I guess I wouldn't know. Well, he sends them to her, you know, and she doesn't wear them. Oh, there's somebody else that's in love with him, too, and she interferes. I think she mixes up the flowers or something. She's an awfully mean old thing, and I should think he'd have seen through her in a minute and know she, the other one, wanted to wear the flowers. I would, I know. Wouldn't you, Aunt Eleanor? Well, it makes an awful lot of trouble anyway, and he quarrels with her, the nice one, you know, and goes off with the other. She has the most perfectly lovely dress at the ball, all kind of weird and serpent-like and glittering, you know, and, oh, I was dreadfully afraid he was going to propose to her. Wouldn't that have been perfectly awful if he had, Aunt Eleanor? 